It sucks. Well, guys, might be the end of the road for Chris on the trip. We're heading back into the harbor one more time. All right, we're on our own. Every once in a while when you're doing these things, these journeys, these little bit of adventures and being away from the family, it's like there's a day where it all hits me and it's very heavy. And right now is the time. I'm gonna, all right, all right. You ready to get underway? I'm Zachary Fowler and you're watching Waterworld 2.0, the seven day survival challenge, pirate ship edition. That was nuts, huh? Leaving civilization for parts unknown. Be gone. Lord, keep us safe. Fireball, Captain! <laughs> there we go. It's bigger than the ones yesterday. Between Chris, my first mate, Butter, my dog, and our rooster fricassee, we're heading out to survive for seven days of adventure in this world of water. <sighs> Slept in a little bit. I think it's eight o'clock. I heard Chris up. He went off to try his hand at fishing some more. Let's see if we can figure this place out. I don't know. I need to sleep for like a two days straight to catch up. But you can't have an adventure when you're in your hammock. So here we go. Ah. You know one of the nice things about being in the hammock right here? That's why I woke up in the middle of the night and got pee. You just unzip the side right there and just pee over the side. Without even having to get out of your hammock. Pretty convenient. Oh, kitchen is a mess again. I need coffee. Nice deep sink to hide all of the dishes. Oh, it's healthier to start with a cup of water anyway. His coffee is all grounds. I'm making it super strong so that I top it up with water and the ground sink to the bottom anyway. So it's not a big deal. Oh, there we go, another mayfly chicken. I'm looking up some bugs and stuff for him. Get him cleaned up. You ready for some breakfast butter? We're gonna have some breakfast together. Some food for Mr. Rooster. You want that rooster, don't you? Can't have him. Not yet. Not till we cook him up. Who wants water? Who wants food? Mr. Rooster, you're pretty rude waking me up. But not so bad. There we go. Let's wash out your cage, buddy. The rooster's in kind of a tiny cage, and he's only here for one reason, and that's not to wake me up early in the morning. But I like to take good care of all my animals and make sure they're as happy as possible, so every day, twice a day, I rinse out his cage and clean it all up. I know. Life. Life, right? It gets over 10 or 12 of those fresh grubs and worms every single day, as well as a little bit of fish and vegetable scraps from our meals that I chop up extra fine for him to peck away at and have fun with. You did good today, Mr. Rooster. Thanks. Get a good night's sleep. I'll most likely eat you in the morning. Come on, Lake Trout. Come on. Thought this was the most overpopulated Lake Trout Lake in like the freaking state. Where are you? Something's sitting down there at like 74 feet. I know you want that bucktail with that juice on it. That good au jus. Ooh, au jus. That smells good. 
Oh, sounds, smells good. Sounds good. You hungry, boy? Come get you some. It's just me and you. Mano y mano. Mano y mano, baby. Man, this is rough fishing. I feel like it's not producing anything. And it's not due to lack of effort. I'm trying my hardest, trust me. But I'm gonna get back. He's gonna go pick up his grandmother. And I'm gonna mark a few places on Navionics and just hit them while they're out kind of having some family time. And I hope, I hope, fingers crossed, I can catch a big lake trout for you, like 20 pounder or something. That would be awesome. Not giving up. It's tough fishing, but I'm not giving up. How'd it go, you get anything? I did not get anything. It was exciting though, that's for sure. 100, oh, yeah. 100 to 140 foot of water. Yeah. And I was marking what I assume were lake trout down at like 85 to 90 feet. Yeah. But it just got too dicey. The wind started to kick up and two foot rollers. This thing handled it well, but I just didn't want to dump all my stuff into the water. Right. It was fun, but nothing. Hopefully this wind I, dies. No, down. after my testing it, you fall off before this thing fall, flips over. Hold on a second. Let me get you in there first before you go jumping off. Wait a second, butter, wait. You can, don't bail. Okay, go to the bathroom. Go poop. Good girl, go poop. You're good. Go poop. Go. Good girl. Go pee, go poop. Good girl. Butter, come on. Up here. Good girl, come on. Come on. Good girl. Good job. Quick work of that. So beautiful out here. Not so quiet when you got Chris with you, but you know. It's a... <laughs> All right. Psalm 107, 23 through 36. Ah, listen to this, Chris. This is today's Our Daily Bread. Uh, those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, that's the, they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Yeah. Cool. We would love to see some wonders in the deep <laughs> yeah. of some lake trout there, God. Uh, please, Lord. Um, we have uh, failed to see those wonders just yet. We, we've seen a lot of wonders up on top of the water, I'm but we're not. wondering where the fish are. We're, we're, yeah, we're having lots of wondering as to what these wonders are under the water. Thank you, Lord, though, for the, for the ones that we have got. <laughs> that you've given us. <laughs> mm. Dear Diary, we haven't done so well on the fishing. I don't know what it is about these lakes, but they're just so full of these tiny white perch. Smallmouth. Oh no, white perch. White okay. perch. Let's go, first fish of the lake. Bago Lake White Perch. I've thrown swim What is bigger. that? It's a white perch. We can hardly catch anything else, and when we do catch something else, it's also tiny. Let me see that, that, mo wait, wait, let's get the scale out. Let's get the scale, where's the scale? It reminds me of the time that Jesus had to feed 5,000 people he was speaking to. He sent the disciples to go find something to feed everybody, and they brought him a boy with five barley loaves and two small fish. And Jesus prayed over him and divided up the loaves and the fish, and it managed to feed those 5,000 people. And in the end, there was actually surplus, and they collected a basket each for all of the 12 disciples. Where did they throw those baskets? And were those white perch that little boy brought him? And did Jesus screw up a little bit and maybe forget to turn the miracle off? And somehow those white perch ended up here? Just saying, there's a lot of white perch in this lake. A lot of tiny fish, and more than enough to feed another 5,000. It's crazy. It's just as far as the eye can see, like everywhere I moved to. Okay, maybe not everywhere I moved to. Everywhere the light is touching or something. Thank you.
That's what I like to see. Brown on the fat, and you get that nice crunch. Not chewy. That's what I don't like. He likes it raw and wriggling. <laughs> raw and wriggling. All right. So last night, Chris's hammock sits right here, and I don't know if the hammock was sitting low. He didn't say anything about the first couple nights in the hammock in, or the thing was sitting wrong. So it was in his way, and he tried to pull it off without getting all the way out of the hammock, and that made our downrigger fall over the side. It's tiny as yellow perch. I wonder what was Chase. What are you doing? Oh, taking the thing off. Yeah. Oh, nice. And dropping it in the water. Did you really? Oh my goodness gracious. So maybe it's right there. But if they're, if those lines come in within two feet, they should be right it there. It should be it right there. If they both move, got moved by the boat at the same exact pace. So I'm our, our diver on this adventure more than Chris likes to dive. So I'm gonna dive down and see if I can get it and uh, bring it up. That's uh, like 200 bucks, we don't wanna lose that. And we know where it is, it's right in here. I'm gonna get my flippers on and go down. The beard messes up the, uh, I have to put Vaseline on and that still leaks, so I found these goggles on Amazon and then a nose plug. I saw free divers were doing this. And I tried it the other day, it seemed to work pretty good. Did I Coming with butter. Oh, it's murky in here. First try! Nice! First try! <laughs> you got it. Woo! Nice. <laughs> was the marker actually still close? Sweet. I, when I first jumped in, it was so muggy and dark looking. I didn't think I'd be able to see anything, but it is really clear. So once you get down past that two feet, it's like all of a sudden I can see the bottom. Nailed it. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna start every day out with that. Drizzle with that. Drizzle with that. Little bit. Bring it to life. Whoa. Zach's floppy bacon. Oof. I don't like the looks of it, but that's okay. To each their own. Clean space. Clean space. Ooh. Ooh. Right, floppy bacon. Wow. We got dirty sprouts. eggs with cheese. Dirty eggs with. Cheese, oh yeah. Cheesy scrambled. And sprouts? And sprouts with a little pizzazz on them, not just plain. Okay. Hopefully that should be good for you. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Mm. Oh, didn't say great. Lord, thank you for this food and this adventure. Probably just help us to keep getting along and uh, in this tiny ship and, and to achieve fishing history. <laughs> just by catching any good lake trout. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Fishery. Fishery for us. Bacon. Come here. Bacon. Up. And good girl. <laughs> Is that right for you? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Holy. You can get all your sprouts down first. Mm. Smart. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, what'd you do? Pickle juice them? Ah, I was wondering what you were doing all sneaky over there. Like, so no, no, don't mind me. I'm just a little, little vinegar just to add, you know. That's good though. That adds a pickly. Mm hmm. Mm. That's a thing, for sure. Yeah, because sometimes we add vinegar and oil and salt and pepper, but like. The acidity helps cut the fats from everything else. Mmm. Ooh, those eggs are good. Mm. I was gonna ask how you like your eggs cooked, but I was like, ah, scrambled will just be faster. You can over easy, well, if you scramble them, side up. If you, you scramble, I always like um, was over easy when you cook them both. Sides. I just like the I like the runny yellow, mm -hmm. but lately I've been just sunny side. 
Lately, I've been smacking them. No, not sunny side though. Flipped. Oh, okay. Just because I don't want to put a cover on the pan and try to get that slower sunny side to get it quickly fried. It's just always such a... you got to take your time when you want to get the right yolk run. Lately, though, we do a lot of breakfast sandwiches with sprouts, and so I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll cook it, and I'll flip it, and then I'll poke it and get the runny to be just the right around of gooey that it doesn't slide out of the sandwich oh, and yeah. down into the beard. Mm -hmm. We're going to start breakfast and then head out. I gotta go meet Grandma at the dock. We'll take her for a little cruise around the islands here. Well, uh, Chris goes and uh, he's gonna head off and go try again to fish. It's hard to tell in this cove. It feels like it's calmed down. I almost think your best bet for fish and the best waters that we've seen so far is I'm gonna. It was kind of. I say it was scary. I'm sorry. To, okay, what? The best fish? I was gonna say up towards the locks. True, yeah. Like, but that's a little bit of a haul. Mm. But if you go, if you go, if you wanted to go all the way up to the locks, I'll come get you. Okay. I almost had you do that the other day, but I didn't want to mm. be a baby about it. Mm-hmm. I'm so far away, but these things paddle so well. It's just you kind of just keep a steady pace and you get there eventually. Although I was scared out there jigging for lake trout in 140 feet and two foot rollers. Hmm. It was pretty. Pretty exciting, especially when I was marking and getting some follows down at like 90 feet. Mm. So if the weather's right, I'm going back to do that. But like, I hear ya. Yeah, because we can catch crappy and all that stuff at home. What we're here for is the lake trout, and we haven't got on it yet mm. fully. It was just so hard. I did get it down pretty well with that pedal kayak, though, so where I could keep the line straight down. At first, I started doing I called it the shark method. So I just locked the thing in a right hand turn and I was just doing circles around my line to try and like keep my fish finder on it. It worked, but I got to a point where I was just like constantly slowly paddling and constantly slowly or mending the rudder just to keep my line straight down and I got used to it. I almost think seven days isn't enough to mm. like, excuse me talking my mouth full, uh, seven days isn't enough to, to like ha really come to a new place. And not like this. This one has a, a steep learning curve compared to like just some smaller pond with a full ecosystem. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can travel like the Seventy Island Survival Challenge mm -hmm. had so many different things to do and stuff, but they were all very close by. Mm -hmm. I was able to do each one of those and come back a little bit each time. And like here, it's like, oh, we're not lake trout. It's a buzz away out there and do this or well, do that. Well, if we wanted to motor to the other side of the lake, what would it take us? Solid. Two hours. Yeah. Just the upper side where we are would take mm -hmm. us a good two and a half hours. Two hours. So. Good brekkie though? Mm hmm. Good, good job, man. Super delicious. <laughs> Butter. What's oh, a good piece of bacon? There you go. You've earned some bacon after all your hard work at just being with us. Mm -hmm. Right? You gonna eat your dog food now? Should chop it up. It's like, nope. All right, Jim. I got the wheel from here. Oh, good, because I was getting dead tired of just standing around up here. <laughs> All right. Traditional view. Fire it up. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. See you later. See Have ya. Fun. Good luck. Yes, sir. Are you ready, honey? Are you ready, little butter butter? Off to get grandma. Take her for a little cruise. A little side adventure kind of thing. And Chris is gonna try and get on the fish again. And just like that, we're off. Like a herd of turtles. Zach's headed the opposite direction to go get his grandmother. And like I said, have some solid family time, which I think is always much needed. I wish I could still have that time with my own grandmother. So I hope they have an awesome time. We get to meet up and ew, I hope I don't get rained on. But if I do, I've got a plan, so stay tuned. Get my sunglasses. These things are floating sunglasses and I grabbed them because they're bright orange. I like them, they're, they're nice. Uh, they're not the best fishing sunglasses, but they float. And I have expensive sunglasses for fishing, but they're expensive and so I like keep them in the case and I'm always worried about scratching them. So unless there's like a good reason to wear them, you know, fly fishing somewhere where I'm trying to spot through the water, things like that, or it's a nice sunny day and I am bass fishing. 
I kind of keep them locked away. I'm so afraid of scratching them. I and mean, you spend that much money on some sunglasses. It's like I kind of enjoy right now these Airhead sunglasses more than anything else because they're orange. They look cool. I feel like they look cool. I don't know. But uh, they're comfortable and they float. Waterworld 2.0 is brought to you by 4Patriots, the maker of the solar generator I'll be using on this adventure, as well as their three-month survival kit. And Solo Stove, making smokeless fire pits and cooking gear that can turn you into a backyard chef. Fabric by Gerber Life. Life insurance made easy right from your phone in 10 minutes or less. And specifically, today's episode is brought to you by Wazoo Survival Gear and Grim Workshop's clever gadgets for survival and adventure. They've been with me from the beginning since I started YouTube, and they're part of my everyday carry and the first items I stocked on Fowler's Mischief.com. And now a special McFowler short brought to you by Wazoo and Grim Workshop. Previously on McFowler. Wakey, wakey, McFowler. Exactly what I was looking for. I gotta take this, I'm sorry. Oh, you missed McFowler. And now for part two of McFowler. Hello, this is Hans. Oh, hey, boss. Uh, McFarlane got away. Well, I've got his Swiss Army knife, so... It says, like, not a lot he can do. Well... He may know about the missile. Oh, yeah, we've got this, like, uber-cool missile. Basically going to destroy the entire U.S. economy, was it? Well... He may know where it is. We can do it right from our East Street warehouse.
You just couldn't resist, McFowler. It's the cuffs or the bullet, McFowler. Good choice. All right, now get over here, McFowler. I'm gonna lock you to this rocket. Slowly, slowly, keep your guns trained on him. All right, left hand around. Okay. Took my beard from me, McFowler. And now I'm going to take your life. All right, henchmen. It's your 15 minute break now, you know the requirements. Now I'm gonna take you and your beautiful beard for a ride. You know, most people don't understand how hard it is to be upper management at an evil empire like this. You know, the facilities, the henchmen. All the henchmen want healthcare now, they want benefits. You keep coming back, McFallon, you keep trying to beat me. Mac Fowler. I'm sorry, sir. Mac Fowler has escaped again, and this time was a rocket control module. Pish posh. We have bigger fish to fry. Aren't you worried he's going to, you know, trace the rocket parts back to you and find out that. Find out what? That I'm his evil twin? Well, yes. You may not need to save the world, but with Grim Workshop and Wazoo Survival Gear as part of your everyday carry, you'll be ready to. And at the very least, you'll be a bushcrafting survival ninja, ready to take on new adventures. Check out that link in the description below for Wazoo and Grim Workshop, so you're prepared for whatever life throws at you. Go get a grandma. Pick her up at the dock and take her on her adventure. Such a beautiful place here. It's so wild. So many houses right on this spot, but there's so many different things happening on this lake, and just got to figure out the fishuation and amazing. What do you say, Butter? Good girl. Butter really seems to be enjoying it. She was a little sketched at first, but now she's like, this is the life for me. I'm a little sailor dog. She's probably enjoying the break, because when the girls are around, she's like up and down and chasing and things like that a lot. Here we are. I'm gonna get some gas and get the grandma. There we go, it's not too bad of a landing for this old pig. She doesn't turn very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we did it. Hi, John. There's my Uncle John. Hi, Patricia. There's my grandma back there. I'll get the gas out and uh, fill her up over here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Come aboard. Here, come on right around. Okay. Yeah, it's a little tippy, but so. She's a little tippy, too, so. Well, aren't we all when we're on this thing? <laughs> the chairs are pretty solid. Just, yeah, and we're going to stay out solid. of the chop and everything. We're just going to cruise around the islands, have some fun that way. Thank and, you. All right, you guys coming? No. no. What? Why? No, no. <laughs> hey, it wimped out. All right, I guess it's just the three of us. All right. We'll be back in a week. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in like 35 minutes, I guess, right? Is that three like hours? Three hour tour turns into a couple weeks now. We'll be good. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, you two, both of them. They're like, oh, we, you can keep them, uh, it says. Oh, that's 
That's my Auntie Doreen right there. She's like hiding from the... I got you on camera now. There's nothing you could do about it. All right, we'll see you guys in like 45 minutes or so. All right. What do you think, Grandma? Isn't it wild? Have you ever been on something so wild as this? I think this is like the, the craziest thing I've ever built, you know? It's pretty comfy, huh? Like you got the chair, cruising along. Can you ask them how many hours you got in this build? Oh, geez, three weeks, uh, 10 hour days. Some days were, were like 16 hour, 17 hour days working on this. Cause I'd finish and I'd be like, I gotta keep working on the painting while everybody's gone so they're not making sawdust. And I'd paint until midnight or three in the morning one or two times. So that we were just over here in the cove this morning. If you look over that way, the water's like pretty clear, like not, not windy. So it was nice and protected. So I didn't even know what it was like this out here, except for Chris was out fishing and he came in and said it was pretty, pretty choppy out here. I guess that's the only thing about this is it's not as personal as my small boat when we go for a cruise. A second person up there? Huh? Any room for a second person? Yeah, come on up. All right, keep holding on good. Come this, on up. Is this on purpose? One All right, hold on. I'm gonna, other? I'm gonna slow us down a little bit. That? There we go. Oh, is that? Actually, you have one higher. Than yeah, that because other. it makes it easier to get down. Like you hold on to that one, and then once you're down a step, your hand is on the other one. Instead of trying to fit your hips between it, don't grab onto that. But no, the no, railings no. are good. No, no, no. We'll and uh, if you want, you can sit on the chest. It's solid. Okay. And cruise, cruise on. What do you think? Oh, man. Isn't it's it very, awesome? It has it is. It's very. so fun. We got our little flag. You see the, the see our modified flag? Oh, yeah. It's my logo, but in black and white with the uh, eye yeah. patch on it. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get you a shirt. I'll send you one. That's our new one for the uh, adventure. The Waterworld shirts. And our our gym here. Jim's our our lookout. Uh, he he doesn't see much. He's got dead eyes. <laughs> Dad joke. Aww. Oh, jeez. Oh, we got a little bit of rain. You feel it? A little bit of sprinkles? It's still a little sprinkles. We're not going to melt. No. Or none, none, none of us. I have it, yeah. None of us here are all that sweet, are we? No. How about Grandma? Grandma, are you all right? You're going to melt in this rain? What do you think? Isn't it awesome? This is fun. I'm glad you guys were able to come. I didn't get a chance to give you a hug even because we just jumped at it. I'm glad to see you. It's been what two years now because I didn't get to see you last year. I don't know. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't know. Last time we went and uh, when you turned 87, we tried to catch bass, right? We didn't catch any. We're gonna fire the cannon. Let's see. Wind. There we go. You guys ready? Oh, it like that. Hold tight. Fire in the hole! Oh. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's just fireworks, but yeah, it's pretty fun. Isn't that wild? <laughs> <laughs> and then we we even got ourselves swords and everything for our pirate adventure. It's just a ceremonial thing. It's not even sharp, but we we wave them about when people come too close. Arr! <laughs> and, and everybody gets excited and yells "Arr!" back and stuff. It wasn't a lot of time, but she's been on her own big adventure, and it was pretty cool. She was able to join me on mine for a little while, and I got to make her smile, so that made it all worth it. All right, we are back to the dock. Did you hear the cannon fire? I heard it, yeah. Yeah, we set it off for them. And she was like, woo -hoo! I did not expect that, huh? We did it. Thank you, Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, sir. What's your name? Aiden. Aiden? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I got an Aiden on my team, too. <laughs> so, Thank you for uh, docking us good. Yeah. And we will head back out there. Oh, we can get it right into gear. We are good to go. We are gassed up. Nice little visit with Grandma, Uncle John, Aunt Doreen, Aunt Patricia. Stopping by was pretty cool. And uh, now we're gonna go find Chris and see what the fishuation is for the day or if we're having fricassee for dinner. Are we having you for dinner, fricassee? Dinner? 
bankrupt. You've done pretty good, but I don't think you're gonna make it in the long run. You're not gonna make it. Waking us up at six every morning, that's pretty hardcore. I don't know who's more annoying you or the rooster. Yeah, yeah we'll go get Chris and uh, then we'll see what we're gonna do from there. Right now I'm up by one species on Chris and uh, he probably caught more than me because when he was slaying the perch he was just like bop bop bopping hoping to catch a like a monster one in with the smaller ones and we just everything seems to be stunted here or we just kind of find the small stuff we haven't been lucky enough to find any of the big stuff but we're not done yet we don't ever give up never surrender do we Jim I jump ship if we exactly oh there's Chris Chris sighting Chris Ahoy! We'll head over there and grip pick him up. You wanna just go over here? Lost my phone. You lost your phone? Yep. Where? What? Where? Somewhere in there. I was just trying to get out of the cove. And it fell. Smashed this, broke this, and it flew off the. Here, wh where are you going? I'm gonna go somewhere where we can. It's dangerous in there. In there? Yeah. We'll go dock and I'll dive around for it. Dude. I'll get it. I, can, I don't think it's new enough to be water resistant. We'll find out. I think it is. This sucks. I'll get it. Oops, I just spilled my coffee. It's pretty choppy. Well, guys, might be the end of the road for Chris on the trip. Not that it's that big of a deal. It's just a phone, but wicked choppy. I tried to get back out so I could get out and fish and then meet Zach after he's done with uh, his family time and broke the pedal drive here as I hit a rock because all the chop and waves my cell phone flew off of the uh, boat so Zach said he's confident he'll be able to get it but I'm not confident that it's a new enough iPhone that it's actually waterproof so we'll find out here in a second thanks for watching all right watch out butter let's get the anchor out oh, I thought you were just having, you having fun swimming. <laughs> I wish. All right, let's go see if we can find the phone. I found a knife. I found a knife. it and it's on what are the chances <sighs> sorry I didn't mean to hand you the knife blade first <laughs> all right success full recovery of Chris's phone and uh, now I think we're gonna get underway and go to some other piece of the lake as far as we could possibly go the uh, I did find it cool Nice. So one treasure so far, and uh, getting Chris's phone back is cool. A little bit of a so so that yeah I know like a steak knife of all things. So the reason all this happened right is if the clip was partially clipped and that's not why this happened, but that one it sticks a little bit hard, so you got to step on it to get the full clip. So fortunately, we still have half of a clip, so this locks in just fine, and we can keep going. And. Uh, we're, we're kind of tired of this end of the lake. It's not been producing for us. So the plan is to move. We're changing lodgings, boys. Let's go find somewhere where that produces fish and we can uh, have some new explorations and new adventure. Up this end, when it's really moving, it's really choppy. So this may be a hairy, hairy ride. But we did it. So far, everything recovered except for that anchor and I wish I had had my flippers on that day I might have covered more ground if it had been more sunny and not so dark I probably could have found that anchor all right so on our map we're up in here I think that little speck right there we're just behind that and the goal is 
the wind's coming this way. It's choppy up in here. I think we want to get down around Fry Island and find a protected place. So we're going to try to come down here through the winds and everything. And maybe through here, right through here. And see what we can do about maybe up in here for tonight. A little more protected. This is a little bit less choppy when it's open day. So maybe tomorrow morning fishing some of that for lake trout. This is 130 feet deep here. So somewhere in there could be some great fishing. The plains being out here in the deep, we're finding a lot of that to be kind of beyond our capabilities with what we have for gear. And um, I don't think we're gonna even attempt it. It's so choppy and stuff out there. We have to go out early in the morning and we'd skip out on some of the fishing. We're already running later on days because we didn't get here as soon as we wanted to. And then tomorrow we'll be able to troll some of this Maybe get over into here with the kayaks. Maybe there's better fishing over in here or the little rivers and streams at different spots. And then we'll be ending our trip down in here and coming out at the public landing at the bottom. So let's get underway and cross that heavier seas. Wanker! And neat how it lifts up and scoots out. We're heading back into the harbor one more time. Butter, come here. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. You want a treat? Come on. You want a treat? Come on, girl. Come on. All right, guys. Thank you, Doc. Right. Yep. Safe travels. Catch a big one. I will. I'll try. All right. We're on our own. Just me, the rooster, and butter. Chris is on the dock, and he's officially tapped out. It says with his phone going broken. After I rescued it from the water, it's. He's got it in rice, but it might not take off. He, he just can't keep going. I don't know. I think you guys, young people, and everybody depends way too much on their phone. People spend too much time on it. I know. I've done a pretty good job of scaling back my time on it. And I guess when it dies and I don't have some way to charge it, I do feel that like a little bit of crazy set in. But when I was out on a loan 87 days, I didn't miss my phone at all. I did miss audiobooks. We're on our own. We're going to... Uh, well, I can let Butter out of the cabin now. Because she would try to bail and jump ship without me. If I didn't well, let her in, lock her in the cabin, she tried to jump ship all the other times. All right, Butter, you can come out. It's just the two of us, hon. And the chicken. For now. For now. Just us, Mr. Rooster. we got to rinse your cage again. Get you some more stuff. I think I might have to stop for a second and suit up. It's pretty windy when you get out in the open and my shorts are still a little bit wet after swimming for Chris's phone. This is going to be a little bit of a haul. I want to get around to the other side, find somewhere protected, and then figure out what we're doing fishing-wise and dinner-wise. Yeehaw! It wouldn't be fun if it was easy. Now we got Chris's stuff out of here. There should be a little bit lighter. Butter's hiding up in the back. She doesn't want to like it when we're traveling and it's choppy. She finds a spot to hide. You all right, honey? It's gone. She's all right. You ready to cut? She's like, I'm ready. Such a big jump. Good girl. I'm gonna put my dry pants on, even if I don't have dry under things. So I found some waterproof underwear I like. Cause I like to do a lot of swimming, and so I'll swim. And uh, I don't know. I found like shorts, and they don't come swim trunks. I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe it's about staying drier but I feel uncomfortable wearing swim trunks without like underwear underneath so the waterproof underwear working out really well yeah good story I don't have anybody else to talk to now so I, you're gonna have to listen to the weird things that come to the top of my head um, apparently we're already losing our mind and we've only been by ourselves for a couple of minutes I'm actually gonna put on my full rain gear because it works as a great windbreaker when it's that uh, windy out there. It's coming up closer to dinner time and only had that one breakfast. 
I don't want to stick around here too much longer. I want to get down the lake if it's doable. If we get out there and it's really bad, we might have to turn back and leave in the morning for that end of the lake. I think I could use something uplifting. Sparrow put something in the chest for me and I haven't looked at it yet. So there's a treasure in here from the treasure chest that Sparrow sent along. I think now is the time. Good luck, it says. Aww. It's a little combination of some of my favorite things. Swedish fish, uh, regular fish, and some crackers for a snack. We'll miss you. Thank you, Sparrow. I love you. I love you, honey. I love all my girls. Every once in a while when you're doing these things, these journeys, these little bit of adventures and being away from the family, it's like there's a day where it all hits me and it's very heavy. Right now is the time. I'm gonna have my little snack. Come here, butter. Come here. Come here. Come here. I love you. All right. Little butter kisses. All right. All right. You ready to get underway? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I made a little nest for you. Come here. We'll fix up your favorite spot for you up in there. When you're freaked out because we're underway, you hop up into your little nest, okay? Mmm, those Swedish fish are kind of salty. It's kind of good. After motoring along for a few hours, I took a little break to do some sightseeing, and this one property struck me as extremely unique, so I put up the drone, flew around, and got a closer look at it. It seems to be a boathouse with a dock all in front of it where you could keep all your boat stuff, and then I went up the way and I found this cool little miniature breakwater and lighthouse. With all the rules and regulations on lakes, you'll never see something like this built new ever again. And little cabins built into the rocks right on the shore can never be built again. They can only be maintained, or once they go down, they won't be allowed to go back up again. And as I continued to explore with the drone, I found another little treasure. A tiny houseboat built on like a barge platform, so it was super solid, with this cool little bathroom right on the front of it. Guys, looking a little dark over that way. Not that we haven't seen a million times all summer. It's been the summer rain for sure. Uh, the, the sunny days are the fewer and farther between, but that's all right. Little rain wouldn't hurt you, you could use a bath. <laughs> I'm swing out into the deeper waters, see if we can't uh, mark some lake trout. Whether I fish for them tonight or come back through tomorrow. Get around on the cove and then the protected side away from the wind. It's not so bad though. Maybe it was worse earlier, but it feels nice now. And I feel like that's what we're looking for. 100 feet. Marks. That's gotta be lake trout. It's not dolphins down there. Nice, I just came up to the shelf and I'm marking all kinds of stuff. I, I feel like this is, this little plateau right here is perfect. I'm gonna try and spot lock and see what I could do. These, I think these streaks might all be lake trout. Let's find out. All right, going with one of my leeches that we made. A little jig head that uh, Parrot gave me when we were doing the ice fishing thing. So I think that'll make a good action. We'll see. 
Ooh. There's one right down there. Here we go. Hopefully I have enough line. <laughs> ah! It's right there. Come on. I wish I had the dinner bell on or something like that. Something to ring the bell. We'll see. If he sees it or not. I don't know. He's like 20 feet away. I might need to switch up. Oh Lord, won't you give me a fish for dinner? My friends all have pizza. I had pizza the other day, but I'd like a lake trout. Big old bait ball moving through. Alright, or ring. Let's get something on there and ring the bell. Just found these in my box, some glow jigs. I'll try some of these low end ones. Yeah, it glows. See marks on here, here and there, but not like the marks, like galore. I thought I'd float over and just let myself float for a minute, and then if like something popped up, like whoa, look at all those. I think that's why trolling would be a better thing, because as many marks as I've seen, I haven't seen any super spots that like were like, oh, there's like several giant things, you know, swimming here and there. Let's jig for them. All right, no lake trout. I'm gonna pull up stakes and. Uh, Head for a night camp and uh, some quiet cove somewhere and see if we can't uh, make some dinner and we'll go to bed. Arr, be tired. <laughs> but I still got my sense of humor. Her uh, I couldn't turn that into a piratey thing. <laughs> Hermer. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And uh, I want to get to bed. I'm trying to think if I want to even make dinner, if I just want to go to bed. Still have to clean the rooster's cage again, feed and water the rooster and butter. But I don't have to worry about Jim, he doesn't eat much. I am not an anorexic, I just can't stomach your cooking. <laughs> ha! He's a character. That always keeps this whole, uh, this whole adventure lively, Jim. Even though he's not. Passing through the Fry, Fry Island. The cliffs, beautiful. How cool is that? I used to rock climb back in high school. I don't know if a, back then if a posted sign would stop me or one of those rock jockeys. I don't see any chalk marks on him. Like these guys, they tend to see like chalk holes if they're like all over it. It is a hundred and something feet. So these cliffs were like 20 feet away. It's a hundred and something feet. These cliffs must just go straight down into the water. That is wild. Oh man, at a hundred feet, just 20 feet off, you could probably go to those cliffs and fish for lake trout straight down. That's crazy. But you can't because it's posted. <laughs> oh, here we go, some waves. Oh, here comes the ferry taking some people over. That's cool. Can hold like nine people on the ferry, it looks like. I think where they were coming out of is where I wanted to go for the night. So hopefully it's, uh, I'm wrong and it's not that busy. We'll figure it out though. Somewhere around here, tucked in, is what I was looking at on the map. Hold on, Jim. You're almost falling off the side there. <sighs> Get a little uh, seasick.
All right, we've come around the corner and it looks like there's a nice deep cove here. It's a little quieter. Is this the one I was looking for though? I don't want to be too populated of a place, you know? There's a lot of people on this lake, that's for sure. A lot of houses. There's as many houses as a good city has, like just on the edge of the lake here. But I was hoping for a corner to push up into, out of the waves, nice and quiet. Fishing or diving hotspot. I don't know about fishing or diving hotspot over there, but I am looking for a quiet spot. Looks fairly quiet up in there. I see a couple other pontoons and a grassy spot, so it must be able to handle it. I'd love to be kind of in there. What are you thinking? Does this look pretty sketchy in here, or are you uh, good with this? I don't care what we do, as long as we're not stopping for dinner. Full stop. I think we'll run. I think we'll run the trolling motor until we park. Alright, let's see if we can't get a quiet spot just over here. And look for rocks. I can see the bottom, but it's pretty clean looking. That's a wild dock, look at this thing. Giant cigarette boat on a giant long dock. All right, that's it, anchored. Spot locked right now. Yeehaw, yeah, home, home for the night. Whew. I am white. There you go, butter, some fresh water, and some food. You ready, you hungry? There you go. I know, it. whoops, it's not as good as the bacon you had earlier, but, right? All right, well, we're gonna eat all that. I'm gonna give some to the chicken. Hey, buddy. Clean cave and some fresh water. I'm gonna get you some food. Get the solo stove going and have a nice little fire, huh? What do you think, Butter? Should we have a little fire? Sheesh. getting dark but I don't want to be skunked I want to catch a fish I did say on the map that this is a fishing spot so maybe maybe we finally get that bass Well, if all else fails, worm. Maybe you can catch an eel. This 
slightly long hook all sleeved right onto it. Something can just pick it up and run with it with a heavy sinker so I get it over there by the edge. There we go, all hooked up, ready with my bell. Pulled tight against my weight so if something picks it up and runs with it, I'll know. Probably sit by the fire for a little bit and just enjoy the quiet. Hot coal on the deck. Fish on. Ah, stuck over onto the kayak. How in the world did it even get connected to the kayak? I think it's still moving. I don't think I lost it. Aha! I didn't get skunked. I didn't get skunked. Might be the littlest fish in the world, but it's also a new species unlocked. A little red-eared, little small red-eared sunfish. We'll feed it to the rooster for breakfast there. Since it was on the uh, kayak, stuck on the kayak for so long and got hooked deep, it's not gonna make it. Put him on ice. <laughs> I didn't get skunked. Thank you, Lord. Fish on. Another fish. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Another species unlocked. It's a little catfish. Tiny one. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if I can unhook him without hurting him. There we go. Little tiny catfish, huh? That's wild. I wonder if there's bigger ones in here. Man, that would be delicious if they were bigger. Most of the time in Maine, though, I've only ever seen small ones, so. Bye, little fella. Oh, there he goes. He's happy. Try the other side of the boat. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Get some rest. See you in the next one. Fowler out. It's the cuffs or the bullet, McFowler. Good choice. Ow. <laughs> you shaved my beard. Now I'll... Razor burn you all the way to outer space. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the, no, the, the inner pocket. <laughs> no, the inner pocket. <laughs> so vulnerable. And anyway, after that head injury you gave me earlier, I've been feeling pretty tired lately. I need to lay down. What? <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what Zach, are it's we going now. to do with you, McFowler? Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Wazoo and Grim Workshop, linked in the description below. And remember, if you do lock yourself to a rocket, make sure you're good at undoing those handcuffs. <sighs> McFowler!